This is SAT test 4, calculator question number 25. College Board gives us two polynomials, f and g of x, and asks which of the following polynomials is di divisible by 2x plus 3, and they give us linear combinations of f and g. This is much easier to do on the calculator, and I'll get to that in a moment. But first, I want to rewrite f of x. Each of these has a common factor of 2x, so it's 2x times 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times positive 3x is 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And 2x times positive 2 will give us 4x. And g of x is 1 times x squared plus 3x plus 2. If I want it to be divisible by 2x plus 3, it looks like f plus 3g will be 2x times x squared plus 3x plus 2. And then g is 3, 3g, I'm sorry, 3g is 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 2. So f plus 3g. will be 2x plus 3, that quantity times x squared plus 3x plus 2, meaning that choice B would be the correct answer. That is evenly divisible by 2x plus 3. When you divide f of x plus, g of, plus 3g of x, divide that by 2x plus 3, you get 2x plus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3 is 1, so you get x squared plus 3x plus 2. That expression did divide evenly. That is a hard one to spot, so let's look at another way of solving this problem using just the calculator. This does require quite a bit of experience with a graphing calculator. If you put f of x into y1 on your graphing calculator and put g of x into y2, and then for y3, I'm going to enter parentheses 1 y1 plus 1 y2, close the parentheses, and divide by 3x, I'm sorry, divide by 2x plus 3. If y3 evenly d divides, I'll get a parabola because this linear combination will always be a cubic. Cubic over linear is quadratic if it divides evenly. If this does not divide evenly, I'll get a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3 halves. So I'm checking for a vertical asymptote versus a parabola. If I then go to my equal signs and hit enter over the equal sign for y1 and y2, but leave y3 shaded, only y3 will graph, so I just have to wait long enough to see if y3 has a vertical asymptote, which it does. So I go into y3, and I type over these ones. That's why I put ones. I type a 2 over. That way I don't have to use the insert option. And over this one, I'm going to type a 3. And that would be choice C. I already saw choice A doesn't work. So if I type the 2 and the 3 and hit graph. Again, I have a vertical asymptote. It looks something like this. That's not evenly dividing with the asymptote at negative 3 halves. And yes, I am intentionally saving the correct one to last. If I go into y3 and I type a 3 over the y1 coefficient. 
and I cut A2 over the Y2 coefficient. and select graph. My graph looks something like this. Again, I have a vertical asymptote, so that choice isn't right. If I go back in and I type a 1 over that 3 and a 3 over this 2 to match choice B, and select graph. My graph looks like this. It's a perfect parabola. There may be a hole there that I can't see, but on the graph it looks like it evenly divided because I don't get the vertical asymptote. So choice B would be the correct answer. To enter Y1 to enter a, a reference to another function, you go to VARS which is just below your arrow keys down and right from STAT and then once you've selected VARS, you arrow right to Y VARS. VARS is for variables, and you want a Y variable. You go to your Y variables, and then your choice one is function. And we do want a function, so we hit enter. And now you have choices. Choice one is Y1, choice two is Y2, etc. and it will select Y1, and that references Y1 in your formula. This will often save you time when using the calculator. So the bottom line is we want it evenly divisible. When we added a linear combination of these two polynomials, we end up with a cubic. If we divide a cubic by a linear expression, we should get a quadratic if it evenly divides. If not, we get a rational function, and the rational function will have an asymptote. That's how we know it didn't evenly divide. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.